All right, guys, we're going to do something a little bit different today. Um, I just got done with a five-mile run. We've done uh, three days in a row of, uh, of cold plunges because we haven't had ice yet. Um, but last night, it got down to about 25 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, which is about negative four Celsius or so. Um, one of the questions I get asked a lot is, how do you keep your feet, how your hands in, and how do you keep your feet in? Um, so I'm going to go through some of the conditioning that I do um, to get your feet and your hands ready. Um, it's very simple. It's just exposure. Um, if it's cold outside, I'll go walk around in my bare feet, just for a few minutes. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Um, and then with my hands, it's just putting them into the ice for 10, 15 seconds at a time, taking them out, giving them another 10, 15 seconds, and then repeating that process. So I'm going to kind of go through a little bit of what I do. Um, and this is actually going to help me as well, because I'm still conditioning my body for the cold exposure stuff. So, so for your hands, it's just simply, you see we've got lots of ice in here, but it's just putting your hands in the ice for 10, 15 seconds. And then taking them out, moving them, move them around, get that blood flowing, keep them moving, and do this two or three times. Nice and easy. Keep it moving. Okay, back in. Take them out, and if it becomes too much, just take them out. There's no pressure on any of this. Keep them moving. Only go, you, you want to take your uncomfortable levels up just a little bit. You don't have to go crazy. So keep them moving. Okay, and then back in again. Okay, back out, keep them moving. Get that blood pumping, get that blood flowing. Okay, so that's it. Now for your feet. Just stand here. We'll walk around a little bit. And then get out. And do the same again repeat the process <clears throat> so this is what we're gonna do this is gonna be my cold exposure for the day I'm not gonna take an ice bath because we're not taking not going too crazy um, <clears throat> okay back in with your feet move around this is gonna hurt a little bit but if you continue to do this and you continue to expose yourself to these cold temperatures, because that's cold, that is 32 degrees in there. It's as cold as water's gonna get. So it doesn't matter what the conditions are outside. It could be negative 40 Fahrenheit outside. Inside that tub is gonna be 32 degrees. So much of deliberate cold exposure is slowly building up your tolerance to the cold temperatures. Um, you don't have to go crazy with it. You just go as, as much as you feel comfortable. Well, it's not as much as you feel comfortable because it's never comfortable, but it's not taking those levels to an extreme. I'm a big believer in not pushing yourself too much when you're doing a cold exposure because you don't want anything bad to happen. Only go as much as far as your body will allow you to go. Um, and you've got to stay consistent with it too. It's one of the great things I love about this is you have to stay dedicated, you have to stay consistent, and you have to stay disciplined. Because the second you don't, you're going to erase all of the progress you've made. So, so I hope this helps.